Okay, can we steal more though? I would take every lab. What about this toilet paper roll? We could take all of these books actually. Like we left out the food for him, but his mom ate it. Are you kidding me? I don't know. As girl, what are you doing? Why are you napping on their bed? Get Hey guys, so this is my sim Hope and she and her baby Bruno secretly live in the walls of this couple's house behind a hidden bookshelf. So today, so wait, here's the bookshelf. I keep it locked when the couple are away. I mean when they're home, sorry. So today I'm just going to show you how Hope makes money. So as you can see in the corner, we only have 12 simoleons left. Like this is Hope's money, I'm just showing it to represent it. But yeah, we only have 12 simoleons left, so today's just going to be a day where we get some money. So currently, it is Thursday evening, and the couple just got home from work. Their son is asleep. We already fed him, and Miss Hope over here is sleeping because she was just working all night. Bruno's doing pretty well. He also low-key needs to sleep. So we're going to let him sleep, and I think the couple are glitched right now. I don't know why they're just standing there. One second. Okay, no, they, okay, they started moving. Okay, they started moving. So she went to eat that meal. We actually put that out for Dominic, their son. I had Hope put out some food for when he woke up, but his mom ate it. So hopefully they do end up feeding him. Currently the lights are out. I just realized how dark it looks on the recording, but it's because it's power conservation day. So we can't really do anything about that. So yeah, I'm gonna let Hope and Bruno sleep it out and then get back to you guys when the couple go to bed. By the way, Kristen is low-key cleaning, which is very helpful. They both need a bath, but Rodney's in the shower right now, and he's taking quite- He broke it. Rodney, you broke the bath. Literally, I was just talking about his wife needing a bath, and he went ahead and broke it. Are you kidding me? There's nothing in the house broken at the moment, by the way. Like, usually we have a sink or two broken, but everything's good except for this Roomba. Now Rodney's cleaning, okay. This is helpful because, you know, a broken sink isn't making the puddle bigger. In terms of the broken shower, we, we really need that fixed because Bruno and Hope need the shower as well to get their hygiene up. Oh my gosh, it is so dark in this game. How long does this power conservation day last? Like, it's already 9 p.m. And outside we have Mr. Caleb Vitor. I don't know if you guys remembered, but in my fire video, he was the one guy crying. Oh, the power's back on. And he left at the same time. <laughs> He's like, I can't conduct shady business when the power is on. Okay, so the power came back on. Hope and Bruno are still sleeping. Let me see Bruno's needs. He's a little bit hungry, but not that much. So we can just wait till he wakes up. Actually, no, I want him to be ready. Okay, we're gonna wake everyone up and have Bruno fed so that we could go at- I'm gonna wake the- So I'm having them- Ooh, Dominic is very hungry. Feed him before he gets taken away. Okay, well, that's on you guys. Please help your son. Please, like, we left out the food for him, but his mom ate it. Are you kidding me? Okay, it looks like Rodney's gonna help. Okay, so the power came back on. Hope and Bruno are still sleeping. Let me see Bruno's needs. He's a little bit hungry, but not that much, so we can just wait till he wakes up. Actually, no, I want him to be ready. Okay, we're gonna wake everyone up and have Bruno fed so that we could go at- I'm gonna wake the- So I'm having them- Ooh, Dominic is very hungry. Feed him before he gets taken away. Okay, well, that's on you guys. Please help your son. Please, like, we left out the food for him, but his mom ate it. Are you kidding me? Okay, it looks like Rodney's gonna help for one. Yeah, <laughs> thank goodness, Rodney. Please go feed him. Okay, we good. No, he put him down. I jinxed it, what have I done? Oh, he's asking for food. Okay, Dominic's saving himself. Okay, we good. While Dominic gets fed, I'm also gonna feed Bruno so that we're able to go out as soon as possible. So as soon as the couple go to bed, because otherwise we don't wanna waste the time, like the precious time <laughs> getting Bruno's needs up when we could have been out and about getting making some money in this house okay so dominic is getting fed i just like accident and on the other side bruno's getting fed let me see hope um her needs aren't that low i'm gonna have her use the bathroom but really there's no point to it at the moment like her needs are fine oops 
Oh yeah, I'm having Hope use the bathroom so she doesn't have to later. Bruno's done his meal. That was very quick. He needs some fun. I'm just gonna have Hope play with him. We actually have quite a few toys. Like, he has lots of options. Let's just let him out and he can choose what to play with. And then I'll have Hope fix this dollhouse. Um, Dominic smashed it last time he was in here because he got mad when we left him alone. Okay, Dominic got fed. Thankfully, Rodney was there coming in clutch. I'm going to see what the mom's up to. Okay, mom is sleeping. We just have to wait for Rodney now. Then we can go out and make some money. I plan to write, actually. Oh, oh my gosh. The computer, <laughs> it's broken. We can't even write today, can we? No. Okay, we're going to have to do something else. I think we're going to steal. See how many books he has in here? Okay, this is some good money. Like, look. <laughs> Wait, okay. We could take all of these books, actually. And make some Samoans off of that. And let's see what else we could take that's, that's sitting around the house. So anything you could pocket easily is what I would consider stealable. Like, for example, um, these chairs would not be stealable because you can't just put them in your inventory. So yeah, we could steal, like, books from the bookshelf. There really isn't anything else that I can think of. If they had plants, I would have harvested them. We could take these. <laughs> it only gets us one simoleon, but honestly, we could use everything. So we're going to sell their trash plants. So this is like my game plan right now. Um, We can put this gnome in our inventory. So we're going to take their little like <laughs> beachside gnome and sell him. And yeah, what else is there to sell? Literally looking around. <laughs> it's just... I mean, we could go out and make money. I just wanted to show you how you would make money inside of this house. Like some, like, I guess new ways. Because, you know, everyone knows how to do fishing and stuff. So I kind of just wanted to like, explore some other options. Ooh, also we could go out. Okay, let's also rob the neighborhood. <laughs> let's also rob the neighborhood today. We can rob one of the neighbors. <gasps> Rodney sleeping. Okay. Perf. Okay, first we're gonna hit their house. So let's unlock the bookshelf door. Um, I'm gonna pause and make sure Bruno. I want him to go to bed actually, just so he's a little bit out of the way. So Bruno's gonna go to bed, and then while he's in bed, we're gonna do the bookshelf raid. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna go here. Oh wait, that's I'm on Bruno. I'm selected on Bruno. Okay, we're gonna go here. And then select the bookshelf as hope. And in terms of robbing somebody else's house, we're going to have to bring Bruno with us because we can't leave him home alone. For safety reasons. Okay. Oops. That was an accident. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the bookshelf and literally steal. See, we don't want to steal too many that they notice, but I feel like the books, I wouldn't see them reading. Like romance, I could totally see the mom, the Kristen reading it. Like the mom and the family mystery i don't see any of them reading it i feel like rodney's one simoleon oh my gosh that makes okay forget that we're gonna sell the most valuable books then one simoleon one simoleon i think they might all be worth Ooh, 25 simoleons what book is that oh this is a romance book i feel like the mom would notice this okay we can't sell this one one simoleon 10 farmer the downfall he lives with a corgi named Peaches and neglects to farm points. Okay, see, I don't think they'll notice this one missing, so we're going to sell this one. Actually, wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think they'd notice this one missing, so we're going to go ahead and put it in our pockets. And what else do we have? Orbital Pudding, $1. Gladdenspiel, $10. What book is that about? Science Fiction, 9 Teenagers. It's The Hunger Games. I don't know, I don't think they would notice the Hunger Games being missing. They just don't seem like the people who would. <laughs> um, what else do we have? One simoleon, 25, cooking. Um, recipes. Okay, I don't think, I think Kristen would notice if her cookbook was missing. Um, a thousand one tricks. Ooh, okay, wait, 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 come back. All the tricks you could possibly teach. Too bad they're stubborn, they never listen. Okay, so this is a parenting book. I feel like Kristen wouldn't notice that. Both of them would not notice this because they don't take care of their son. So we're selling that. Okay, next. World Without Magic, 25 simoleons. Okay. 
sci-fi magic never existed why did why are there so many magic related books that's kind of sus anyways um 25 would they notice this i don't think they noticed this being missing like none of them are spellcasters they don't need this book harry potter 25 simoleons <laughs> wait can we okay can we talk about this um description genre biography by uk english lady darley potter and the basement of shadows follow the adventures of a young spellcaster darley porter and her friends harmony ginger and rowan measley as they solve the mystery of the shadowy chamber between their high school gym okay so this is the chamber of secrets aka the basement of shadows i don't think we're gonna sell this one i think they notice it I feel like they wouldn't notice the Hunger Games, but they notice Harry Potter. Reel her in romance. One smullion. Not even gonna bother. One smullion. 25. Famous spellcasters throughout history. Okay, this. I see this as like a um, display book, so I don't think they noticed if it was missing. If it was missing. So we're selling that. Look, we have 88 smullions now. Which, which, bewitched. Oh my gosh. Witch, witch, bewitched, witch, witch. How much is this worth? 25. This is a poetry book. Again, I see it as a display book, so we can sell that. Um, Broomies. Dr. Phil. I don't know what the book this is supposed to be based off. 25 simoleons. It seems like a, like, um, coming of age book, so I don't think they noticed that. I don't think they would. Okay. We made 138 simoleons, so quite... Oh, I didn't even sell everything. Okay, we're gonna sell. So from the books, we made about almost 100. Wait, okay, cancel this one. I'm gonna put the Hunger Games back because I think they would notice that actually. Okay, so that's what's up. We made about 100. Okay, so we made about 140, around 140 simoleons from this bookshelf. So we easily like <laughs> times 10 the amount of money we started with i think next i'm gonna go for the gnome we're gonna get him into our pocket and then we'll go out and rob the neighbor's house with bruno but let's see if there's anything else we could pocket like this no okay we can't pocket any makeup um i don't see anything here as pocketable maybe some of the like smaller decor the vacuum we could sell their vacuum but they kind of need it like i don't want the house to catch fire again so let's not sell that Ooh, we can sell some of dominic's toys let's see what he has though how much are they worth 165 simoleons okay guys we are at a standstill this would make us so much money like we need money for bruno to be able to like you know get a desk and computer and stuff and like new toys once he ages up he needs a child-sized bed as well we just need so much and we just don't have the money to afford it but Dominic has all these nice toys 120 90 100 dollars like it's all worth so much money but I feel so bad because you know he doesn't have much <laughs> like he has definitely more than Bruno oh by the way this dollhouse Bruno got for Christmas from Santa which is just so nice of him but Dominic doesn't have a lot. His parents doesn't take care of him. So we're going to leave his stuff alone. Um, I feel really bad. I would feel really bad taking toys from Dominic. Like we took these blocks. But I feel like that's not a that big of a deal. Because <laughs> they're just blocks. You know. Um, and at that time we don't have a lot of toys. Honestly I might even give those blocks back. Yeah one day we'll give those back. Because <laughs> I do want Dominic to get his thinking skill up too. Using the blocks. But yeah, for now, we're going to go ahead and sell all these trash plants as well as this gnome, which hopefully makes us some money. I heard gnomes are pretty good for money. Oh, I had it paused the whole time. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, my bad. Um, so Ronnie and Kristen are still sleeping. Dominic is awake. Hopefully he doesn't cry and wake his parents up. He's just making a mess. <laughs> he had two puddles over here and here's another one. So I have hope outside. We're going to pocket this gnome. <laughs> this poolside gnome. Can we pocket the pool? Uh, no, they would notice the pool anyway. And we're gonna sell... Oh, we can't sell this? 
she's too uncomfortable hope girl we need to like get things done okay so she's too uncomfortable to sell even the trash plants well let's see how much the gnome made us at least oh we have toys in our inventory i think these might be dominic's though i'll sort those out in a second let's sell this pool set 300 simoleons oh my gosh hope girl 300 simoleons yes okay we're selling it done and done we have almost 500 simoleons now it's a slow grind for money in this game i swear okay next we're gonna take bruno and we're heading off to a neighbor's house so like somebody who lives like in this general area we're gonna steal from them oh this pond is pretty i feel like it might be a hidden world of some kind okay anyways yeah so somebody live, who lives in the general area, we're going to take Bruno with us and we're going to steal from them. So I'm going to have Hope go over here and wake up Bruno. And hopefully, hopefully these two stay asleep. It looks like they're out for the night though. They're not even napping this time. They're like asleep asleep. Okay, so she's waking up Bruno. We're going to have to change him into his winter jacket actually. Toddler care, change outfit, winter jacket. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna head out. I kind of want to take Dominic with us, but let's leave him. His parents are home. He's all right. Okay, Hope, put Bruno here. Oh wait, Bruno, he wants to play dolls. We can't. We can't do this right now. We gotta go. Wait. Okay, pick him up, and then take him here. Ooh, also quick update about the house. So I in the kitchen, I just realized the windows don't match colors. I'll change that later. But I added this little like sitting nook <laughs> just for fun. I felt like the space needed something. So I added that. Okay, we are outside. So we're going to go out. Dominic's trying to talk to us. You can see at the top, but we just can't do that right now. He's like, where are you guys going? Come back. <laughs> Aw, I want to bring him. We just can't. Okay, Hope, we're gonna see who lives nearby. Oh, by the way, these are the snowmans me and Bruno, Hope and Bruno made the other day. So we got three. Rename, what did we name it? Anyways, yeah, we have three snow pals. Um, yeah, we basically Hope and Bruno were waiting to go inside and this is what they made. Anyways, we're gonna go out to a neighbor's house yes keep <laughs> i always forget okay let's see if there's anyone i can just click i don't think I, okay we could go to the vet i mean stealing from the vet is kind of low compared to stealing from neighbors Ooh, who lives here nobody lives here this is a cute house too the pets have the pet pack has such like um cutesy like homey houses okay we're gonna go to we're gonna scroll out and physically travel to one of the neighbor's houses. Okay, who's our victim? I'm thinking the Heckings. The Heckings? We could rob the Delgados. I mean, Camilo's crashing there for now, so I'd kind of feel bad about it. Yeah, the Delgados, are, they have a nice big house, but they're really kind to Camilo, so let's not do that. Owens. Okay, we can rob the Owenses. Yeah, I don't know them. I don't, I don't have any... Ooh, Lynx. She lives alone. With the way less likely to get caught. But the Owens have a big house. Okay, let's go to the Owens house. They, they are our robbing victim. Also, by the way, you can see here, like, the relationship with Rodney and Kristen is basically at zero. So the game automatically gave it to them when they were like created in the same household but now you can see it's at zero because they didn't talk or like interact with each other for so long so yeah and there's cyrus i don't think we'll bring him on our stealing exposition we can't bring dominic unfortunately and i don't think camila would be down for stealing like he house serves from people i don't think he'd agree with stealing but since he loves hope i don't think he would mind <laughs> that much but he wouldn't want to participate by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, but Bruno got his mom's kleptomaniac tendencies. It's not in his inventory right now, but he stole like a tablet. 
a reading tablet from the library. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna go knock on the door. And who is this? I think this is the house owner. So we'll just pretend to be visiting her. She does not look happy. Cheyenne. Okay. Bruno, you can come in too. What is he doing right now? Running around. <laughs> well, you can go over here. I actually do like the design of this house. Like, as in shape. I feel like furniture-wise, they could fill it in more. Anyways, so everyone is awake, unfortunately. I believe that's a teenager. Yeah, Jefferson. So it's a whole family. Oh, I kind of I kind of dig their vibe. I might want to play with them one day. Like I'd imagine there's tension between Jefferson and his parents. Okay, I can't just I always be making plots just by looking at the Sims. I'd be like, okay, this is what's up. But yeah, it's a nice big house. I'm gonna see what's like stealable. Um, basically with the kleptomaniac trait, which allows you to steal, you can only steal certain things. So I need to see if this house has anything of that sort. Ooh, they have a toddler high chair. So if Bruno gets hungry, we could just feed him. Okay, he's walking inside. I'm gonna have Hope look around. <laughs> She's trying to sleep in their bed. Hope you can't do that. Um, this lamp. Ooh, okay, we steal this lamp. I wanna go for something that gets us more money though. Like this lamp looks a bit fancier. Okay, we can't even click on that. This tiny lamp. Okay, we need to go for something that looks fancy. And upstairs is ideal because since everyone's downstairs, like the entire family's in the lounge. Oh, where did they go? I spoke too soon. Where's the whole family? Okay, the whole family's in the kitchen. So we need to swipe something that they wouldn't. Ooh, also there's dog toys. Oh no, they don't have any inside. Okay. We can't swipe any dog toys, they don't have any. They don't have a dog, so that makes sense. Just looking around there a lot. This potted plant. No, we can't swipe it. Okay, we might have to go for one of these two smaller lamps. I'm gonna see what else we could potentially steal. Okay, I think we're gonna go for... Okay, there's three options of lamps. So there's this soccer one. I'm pretty sure this one's a cheaper one. This one, and I'm not sure how expensive it is. It looks like it would be, but you can never tell with kids' furniture. And then there's this one. So I think we're going to go for this one since it's only letting us steal lamps right now. Um, the other rooms don't seem to have anything. There's these empty boxes, but that's kind of useless. Ooh, this lamp looks kind of fancy. Okay, let's take this one. I could just hope it's worth money. What else is here? Okay, that's about it. We're gonna take this lamp right here and just hope that that works. It looks like a tooth. I don't know what the intention of the design is, but Hope's gonna go over and steal that. Let's check where the family is. Bruno's still making his way inside in his like plush, plushy winter jacket. And the family's chilling in the kitchen. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna get caught. So go Miss Hope, steal some. I was gonna say money, but it's a lamp. Go steal a lamp. I wish you could rob the bank in the Sims. Sims don't have banks, so. Okay, this item can be found in the household inventory. Okay, can we steal more though? I would take every lamp. What about this toilet paper roll? I love how that's what I choose. That's, I know that's worth like 20 simoleons at most. Okay, anyway, let's see if we could rob this lamp. Um, recently swiped an object. Okay. Hope's energized though, look at this, mood lit right here. Exhilarating steel, nothing's more thrilling than swiping objects. Love that. I wish like for the criminal career you could play as them and just go into people's houses while they're sleeping and like swipe stuff. <laughs> that would be so fun. Um, Bruno, where are you buddy? He's trying to talk to Hope, he's tired actually. Do they have a potty chair? He needs to use the potty. I love how we're just helping ourselves and just using their facilities. Like after literally trying, not even trying to rob them, after literally robbing them. Okay, they don't have a potty chair for Bruno. Might have to send Miss Hope back in.
Okay, Bruno is asking to read a book. Thank you, Bruno. We can steal their books. What a genius. He's just helping us with our crimes right here. Okay, where are the bookshelves? What a genius. Open. Oh. Nothing? Or do we have to physically take out a book? It might be more challenging if we don't live here. Let me see what other bookshelves they have. Is this a bookshelf? No. Okay. Okay, here's a big one. They have to have books. Oh, it's not a bookshelf. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, literally nothing. They have that one bookshelf downstairs. I might have to click read something. There are no books. They have no books on their bookshelf. I guess they're all just display books. <laughs> wow. This is just adding to my mental plot of that family. The teenager is not in a good mood, by the way. <laughs> Look at how he's walking. Okay, we're gonna get Hope and Bruno to leave because there's nothing else to steal here. Can we swipe this bowl? I hope to not own this item. Okay, we're leaving. There's nothing. I mean, wh when can we steal? Ooh, the moodlet expi it expires as soon as we get upstairs, basically. So let's steal another lamp and then go home. Let's take this one. This one looks expensive. Um, girl, put your son down. <laughs> Where is he going? Where are you going, Bruno? He's thinking of the fridge. I guess he's just looking at it. Okay, have fun. <laughs> he entertains himself with everything. I guess because he didn't, didn't have much to play with at home. Okay, we're gonna swipe that lamp. We're just doing criminal activities today. Okay, we, have, we now have two lamps. I think we got some good money today. Hopefully at least a thousand simoleons. Let's find Bruno and take us home. Ooh, Rodney and Kristen are awake. I can see at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna have to sneak in as well. Okay, so we got two lambs from this place. We'll sell them later once we get back home because basically it's not in Hope's inventory. It's It'll be found in like the household inventory instead. Also, we have family photos we could sell, but it's not really that much of a motive. Oh, look at her leaving out the back door like a true criminal. Okay, so we are back at the house. I'm just going to double check that the doors are locked. And then we'll see where Rodney and Kristen are at. Locked door for everyone upstairs. Can't even see the bookshelf. Okay, locked door for everyone. Okay, now let's find Rodney and Kristen. Rodney is right here upstairs. And where is his wife? Kristen. Oh, okay. She's on the sofa watching the TV. And Dominic is still over here making a mess. We left him like this. <laughs> like at 12 a.m. at night. And he's still there. Not looking very happy, might I add. But yeah, we definitely can't go in right now. I'm gonna get Hope. <laughs> she's so tired. Let's see their needs. Bruno needs to sleep. He needs to use the bathroom. And he's a little bit hungry, I think. We're gonna have to go to the bench. Um, we don't really have another option right now. Because the couple are both awake. So let's get them over on the bench. Um, nap. And Bruno, you also go here and nap. And of course, we have to watch them carefully so they don't go the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Also, what is this animal? Is this a dog? Can we keep it? I love dogs. It's a dog. Stray barrel. We can't. Okay. Bruno is not even. <laughs> he's still a toddler and we have no money. We just made a bit of money. Ooh, we can sell everything as well in a sec. What is Dominic doing? I love his little walk. Okay. His mom's done watching the TV. She's gonna go shower. Okay, wait. Low key, we could sneak back in now, can't we? Where's Rodney? I think Rodney's glitched. That's too unpredictable for us to be able to sneak in. Okay, well, let's not do that. Let's just get them to go to bed. Because I have no idea what Rodney's about to do. Kristen, Dominic. Just keeping tabs on everyone. Let's make sure Bruno doesn't try to go in. Even if he does right now, it's not that unsafe. Like, we literally could have made it. 
I just don't. Yeah, see, Rodney went downstairs. We wouldn't have made it. And she's cleaning the tub while it rains on her head. Girl, it's broken. Don't bother. Double check. Hope's going to bed. Bruno's making his way there. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. He like stopped, paused there for a second. And Rodney's trying to clean up the mess that his son was making all night. Quite literally. There's almost like no spare space in the living room to put stuff. Ooh, work for Kristen starts in an hour. I didn't realize that they had work. Oh, it's Friday in The Sims. Okay, great. <laughs> That's literally perfect then. Mortimer, put on some pants. It's winter. We're gonna freeze. Gosh. Oh, why is Bruno... Wait, why are you sleeping on the floor? I guess the bench is snowy as well. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. They're going to work soon. They're just cleaning up their son's mess. How's Dominic doing? He's going to bed. He had a long day making the entire house a wreck, so he needs his um, beauty sleep. I think Rodney just left to work. Where is he? Oh. He did not. Rodney's always so weird. Like, what are you looking at? He's just staring at the wall. Oh, he's going to work. I was like, why did he change? And Kristen is going to work. Perfect. We could wake Bruno and hope up and get them back in. What are you holding? Mortimer. He has a book in his hand. Can we take that? I guess not. And here's Geoffrey Landgrab. <laughs> Love the iconic townies being here. And here's our dog that we can't keep. Okay, Bruno, wake up. And Miss Hope, wake up. Start walking back. Actually, don't even start walking. Just go back home. So you can click the little home button on the bottom and they'll start walking themselves. Right? Let me double check. Yeah. Okay. They're making their way. Bruno's little legs take him so long. Let's see Dominic. He's still sleeping. I'm going to get Hope to feed him right when she gets home. I think Bruno might need food by then. Also, we need to take a look at our um, loot, so how much those lamps were worth. We got a text from Cyrus. Ooh, we got a phone call from Cyrus. Um, I want to get to know Kristen Cartwright as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? No, definitely not. We don't need our secret lives interacting. No way. New Year's Eve tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Miss Hope is tired bladder okay let's get her to use the bathroom and what does bruno need he needs to get home and eat and sleep okay i'm gonna get hope's needs up while bruno makes his way back actually also let's take a look at our loot so we stole uh two lamps this 140 simoleons okay pretty good and 80 simoleons that wasn't worth that much darn it okay so we have total 643 simoleons. I was hoping to have a thousand by the end of today. Ideally, I would have her right, but you know, not looking like an option at the moment. The couple are running low on funds as well. I don't even know what this is about. Okay, whatever, that was a problem from work. But yeah, so we made we have 643 simoleons right now i wished ubuno's so tired he's throwing a tantrum he's not having it okay uh bruno go nap i'm gonna have hope cook some food for everyone so even dominic can have some so hope let's serve brunch fruit salad that actually i'm gonna add on that money later because that's technically our money like it's technically the couple's money we're spending do you want to hang out with camilo at the nightclub Um, I'm tempted, but no. <laughs> I'm tempted. We could have stolen. Oh, Bruno passed out. Okay, the food's gonna be ready soon, and he'll have some rest hopefully by then. And I don't want Hope to pass out as well. We only got a little bit of time before the couple come back. And look, their oven hood is still burned <laughs> from this Thursday's video when it caught fire. Okay, Bruno woke up. Let's send him to nap on the kitchen sofa. I don't know. What do you guys think of this kitchen sofa? definitely have to blend that you know what let's do it now it's bothering me i don't know if i like the brown or the white better let's see 
Um, let's go with... Let's go with white. Okay, let me know in the comments, by the way, if you guys want me to change that to brown. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I really do think that this kitchen house... <laughs> not kitchen house. Kitchen couch is useful. I'm gonna wake up Bruno, have him grab a serving. And then, why is he calling for hope? Bruno, you can get down yourself. Come on. Nope, he's waiting for hope. Hope girl, don't give in to this. Oh, she's so tired. Okay, I'm gonna send her to bed. I mean, okay. I need Dominic to eat as well, though. Also, we forgot to call Camilo as the nanny this morning, didn't we? Let's call him over now. <laughs> Honestly, I think Camila's a pretty responsible nanny. Like, he cares about Dominic. It's just that Hope forgot to call him today, I guess. That was on us. I wish you could, like, schedule club meetings, but I guess we can't do that yet. Okay, girl, go to bed. What are you doing? Wait, I should put Bruno to bed if he's done eating. Look at him. He's napping on Dominic's chair. Oh, no, he's eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna send Hope to bed. She kind of needs to shower too. Let me see. I think the shower is broken. Yeah, it is. Okay. Can't shower yet, girl. Go to bed. Camilo's going to help around the house. And let's see how much um Bruno's bed would cost us. So we have like a price goal in mind. Because keep in mind, we could also sell this one. So 128 simoleons. And then how much would we need for a small bed? Oh. What? 240 okay we have well over enough okay so ideally i would get this bed probably put it here like replace this one and then we would need a desk just for his homework this isn't like an essential but just like something i prefer that he had so yeah 65 simoleons for a desk and then a desk do we even have space for this i mean the desk would go here I don't know, I'd see. I kind of wanted to make this square like Bruno's room or something. Like have his bed here, you know, um, his desk so that he has his own privacy <laughs> and it's separated from Hope. But this is like our mini bathroom now, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I think in terms of money, we're pretty much perfect. Like we really don't need any more money for furniture, I guess. So, I don't know what else kids could need. Maybe toys. Let's see how much those would cost. Um, how do I get to toys? Toys. Okay. So, I'd get him only a few. Like a toy box. Okay, we have enough money. We're good, guys. I think we got a good amount of money today. So, we're good till when, for when hope. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this was just a quick, sweet video for this week. Um, we got enough money for Bruno's furniture. For when he ages up so we could have a few toys a day i'm gonna wake up bruno have him grab a serving and then why is he calling for hope bruno you can get down yourself come on nope he's waiting for hope hope girl don't give in to this oh she's so tired okay i'm gonna send her to bed i mean okay i need dominic to eat as well though also, we forgot to call Camilo as the nanny this morning, didn't we? Let's call him over now. <laughs> Honestly, I think Camilo's a pretty responsible nanny. Like, he cares about Dominic. It's just that Hope forgot to call him today, I guess. That was on us. I wish you could, like, schedule club meetings, but I guess we can't do that yet. Okay, girl, go to bed. What are you doing? Wait, I should put Bruno to bed if he's done eating. Look at him, he's napping on Dominic's chair. Oh no, he's eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna send Hope to bed. She kind of needs to shower too. Let me see. I think the shower is broken. Yeah, it is. Okay. Can't shower yet, girl. Go to bed. Camilo's gonna help around the house. And let's see how much um, Bruno's bed would cost us. So we have like a price goal in mind. Because keep in mind, we could also sell this one. So 128 simoleons. And then how much would we need for a small bed? Oh. What? 240? Okay, we have well over enough. Okay, so ideally I would get this bed. Probably put it here. 
like replace this one and then we would need a desk just for his homework this isn't like an essential but just like something i prefer that he had so yeah 65 simoleons for a desk and then a desk do we even have space for this i mean the desk would go here I don't know, I'd see. I kind of wanted to make this square like Bruno's room or something. Like have his bed here, you know, um, his desk so that he has his own privacy <laughs> and it's separated from Hope. But this is like our mini bathroom now, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I think in terms of money, we're pretty much perfect. Like we really don't need any more money for furniture, I guess. So I don't know what else kids can need. Maybe toys. Let's see how much those would cost. Um, how do I get to toys? Toys. Okay. So I'd get him only a few. Like a toy box. Okay, we have enough money. We're good, guys. I think we got a good amount of money today. So we're good till when, for when hope. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, guys. So this was just a quick, sweet video for this week. Um, we got enough money for Bruno's furniture. For when he ages up so we could have a few toys a desk and as well as a bed so yeah we got all the essentials i don't know as girl what are you doing why are you napping on their bed get that's just weird you have your own bed even we never used their bed i think even when she didn't have one i mean that was mostly because we only went out when <laughs> they were in bed at that time okay bruno you're gonna have to go inside too buddy He's just napping on Dominic's sofa, not sofa, pillow as well. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get him to go to sleep and then we are good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope, wake up. <laughs> did I not click cancel? I swear I did. Wake up girl and go to sleep on your own bed. Is it locked? Is that what's- yeah, it's locked, okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's unlock it. Okay, now you can go to sleep hope you can stay away from their bed and Dominic you too We definitely need to fix the shower soon. Let's hope Camilo gets on that you Got it Camilo He is doing it. He's doing it. He read my mind Nah, okay Well, we can only ask for so much. Okay, so it's my conclusion is interrupted twice. Thank you guys so much for watching um Yeah, so we got enough money for you know, they're, so, they're like general like survival needs, like basic furniture for when Bruno's a child and stuff. And there really isn't much more that we need. Like we could decorate this place, maybe get our own vacuum, I'm thinking. I don't know how much that would cost, but yeah, definitely just keep building up our little <laughs> area in the walls. Ooh, maybe this area could be um, Bruno's room or something like that. Like this wall, I put it here by accident. If we take that away, um, okay, I see why the roof is literally in the wall. What is happening? Nothing to delete. Okay, there we go. Let me double check that it's not. Okay, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I don't know why that was weird. But yeah, I'm thinking now this could be Bruno's little like suite so we could have a bed um shove a desk somewhere <laughs> we'll have to figure it out i'm not gonna expand it any more than this i think but yeah definitely a bed at least and then hope can sleep here this can be their bathroom either that or i can make this the bathroom but we really don't need that much space for a bathroom <laughs> like this is fine and then maybe some toys and stuff i don't know but yeah this is great we have like a nice privacy area for bruno when he itches up and this but yeah okay now finally the real outro 